Well, good evening wherever you are on this most pleasant evening. As you can see, there's been a, a terrific atmosphere here. There is great expectation, excitement, and it has built nicely in these idyllic conditions. Conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambience. It's quite a struggle to get in here, points of access hard to come by and an awful lot of people gathering to get through the gates, but regardless of that, there's a great feel here and much excitement for the game ahead. This is the gladiatorial arena that is the Stadio Olimpico, for so long the symbol of Rome's grand sporting history. To what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. So it's down to business here. Spread out to the left. Up to meet it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, this is simple. The supply is to be admired. The defending is to be admonished. Amat. He's played him through. Cleared without complication. Gets his pass away. Oh, nice touch. It's run loose here. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Kodos. Iran playing here with a nice expansive style. Yeah, with their fullbacks making up the numbers in attack too, just need to make sure the back line doesn't become too stretched and face with too much ground to cover. Oh, that's nice. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Hoisted upfield by the keeper. If anyone is going to break the deadlock, now would be a good time. Oh, they could break here. A sharp little ball here. Has a shot! A real chance and a real let-off. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. And 
that is out of play. And we've reached half time. But it has been a half largely of could haves and should haves. Perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will feel they're overdue a goal. But it's certainly not for the want of trying, so nothing to show as yet. At the break, it's nil nil. Any strong opinions on the first half? Yeah, and despite the scoreline, it's clear who the better side is when it comes to chances. If this is the trend that's going to continue, then there's only going to be one winner here, and uh, I don't think... Great leap! It's in! The second half sparks straight into life! He knows it's taken a big and very kind deflection, but he is claiming it nonetheless. Iran take the lead, 1-0. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worth the treat. Out to the left it goes. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. Godos. Over to the left. Down by a goal, needing to go up a gear. That's how it looks here. Well, that was well positioned and, and well pinched. They can't hurt with their backs to go. It could be in here. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. This is a really front-footed approach. Spot on, Peter. Gone looking for safety, and he's forced to go back. Just about up to 75 minutes. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, considering they're only one down, they're closer to conceding a second than scoring a leveler. Godos. Now it's Taremi played out to the right. They may end up with some regret with this tactic, but you have to admire their commitment to goals. This interception, his positioning was spot on. He's left his man. Gently done. Corner. it away oh that's neat tries to get it clear got us and he's had a hit and that may well be that that is that